Hi, I'm Sarah, an artist who works at the British Ceramics Biennial. I often go out and deliver workshops in the community or within the BCB studio as part of Clayworks, which is the Arts and Health Programme. We've been working with different organisations in Stoke-on-Trent, like Starfish Social Hub and Changes Health and Wellbeing. Obviously, due to the COVID-19 crisis, we haven't been able to get out and, and do workshops or have work, hold workshops in the studio. And so we've been trying out some online sessions and um, exploring creativity with things that you can find in your home or out on your daily walk. Um, so I'm going to take you through one of the exercises that we did in, in an online session and I hope you will enjoy it. Um, most of the people who do these workshops have said that they really feel much more relaxed and it's a little bit of a break for the, from the anxieties of life. Um, so have a go and see how you find it. This exercise explores daily routines using all sorts of different things to draw with. For our inks, if you do have some clay at home, then you could use some slip or watered down clay. If not, collect some soil and mix it with a bit of water in a pot. If you can't get out, some concentrated coffee works well. I use two teaspoons of instant coffee and a little hot water. You could also save up your old tea bags and stew them for five minutes, add a teaspoon of salt to set the colour and use the liquid as ink. Uh, for drawing tools, collect things like sticks, stems, bits of bark, seed heads and that sort of thing on your walk. If you can't get out the house, then raid the kitchen. Just remember to put it all back and clean it. Things like uh, wooden spoons, chopsticks, a grater, a toothbrush, a bit of sponge or a piece of carrot could all make interesting marks. It's all about looking at everyday things in a different way and trying them out. So you have everything ready. Now choose something that you look at or use every day and get drawing. I'm going for this pot plant uh, and this is coffee and then mud and some terracotta slip. You can use just one thing or mix it up and if you let them dry completely then you can always add some detail with pencil afterwards. I look forward to seeing your drawings and I hope you'll have fun and find this a relaxing activity. Thank you for joining me on Clay at Home.